Hey everyone, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Well, I was playing with the idea of a knife setup that would be, for me, the perfect EDC knife. Not just the knife itself, but I'm talking about the, the setup, the way I would carry it, how I would carry it. But it would also carry over into the wilderness when I'm out here. It would be the absolute perfect little setup or knife to have on my belt when I'm out here uh, hiking or doing bushcraft or just hanging out in camp, and especially hanging out in camp. Cause a lot of times, you know, when I'm around the fire and I've been out on a long hike, I'll come back and I might hang my big knife up next to me, maybe my SE6, take my hatchet off my belt, but I still want something close at hand. I'm maybe I'm making dinner and I wanna, I need to open a, a pouch of food or cut up some spam, reach over and cut a quick piece of parachute cord. So I started playing with this idea and we'll go over the knife and all the details that I chose here in a minute. Cause you can do this with any small knife that you like. It doesn't have to be the one that I chose. But the idea was I wanted to have a knife that I could wear on my belt horizontally that would be so comfortable um, out of the way that I wouldn't even know it was there but anytime I needed it I could just reach down and grab it so I started working on the design went to my local leather maker painted hills custom leather they'll be in the description if you want a sheath like this they can make you one for your knife as well just like this so let me show you how I how set this up first I have it right here I found this to be the most comfortable place to wear it so swap it I've got an extra sheath made I liked it so well I had two made and so you see that come a little closer here it's completely out of my way right here I don't even notice it. When I bend over, it's not in my way. When I bend forward, I was just um, driving, you know, earlier today with this on my belt out here to the mountains. And it's completely out of the way when I'm sitting down, like right now. And yet, it's right here. Anytime I need it. It's not poking out in front. It's not poking out to the side. It's not poking out in back. My hatchet hangs right here, which I'll put on. I'm going to be spending the day out here. I'll put my hatchet on. It hangs right here, my big knife here. So it's completely out of the way. I never know it's there. And yet, it's that quick and easy at hand when I need a knife to do something with. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about the sheath design. Obviously, having it horizontal on my belt. So I went over presented my ideas to my leather maker and we decided a couple things I wanted specific you'll notice the thread is in black and the button the snap is in black I specifically requested that because I did not want something that would reflect light just in case it's one of those things I don't like having tarps that reflect light uh, or I shouldn't say reflect light that stand out because it's blue or pink or neon green or some other color. I like browns and greens. Even though I wear these shirts with designs on them, that's more for the video, but camo hat, camo pants. I have camo shirts. I have plain brown shirts. I like things that blend in out here. <clears throat> so I had this black thread, black snap. Of course, it's shiny underneath, but when it's closed. And I wanted it to be securely on the belt. <clears throat> so if you have one of these made for yourself from my leather maker or even your own, send your belt or take your belt in with them because like I use a Hanks belt. This is the exact belt that I wear out here in the woods and in town, going to church, everything. This is my daily wear belt, my woods belt. Been using Hank's belts for years. So I had the sheath made to fit specifically on this belt. That way it would be nice 
and tight. The design was made for it to ride pretty much right snug with the top of the belt so that it didn't stick up so when I bend over forward sideways or whatever I wouldn't feel that the sheath is there and I don't it's great other thing I did or asked on my design show you guys here I had the snap done so in a lot of knives they have like a piece of leather that comes up the back and then you have a snap that comes over in the front and then you unsnap it and you got to kind of pull your top and bottom piece out of the way to take your knife out otherwise you'll be slicing i specifically wanted one coming up over the bottom that would hook on this knife so this knife will not go anywhere but is really easy to get out of the way just unsnap it and then i can actually tuck this behind my belt or up in my belt loop if I want this left open for some reason and this particular knife which is the Becker BK 14 it hooks right around the bottom of that blade so it cannot go anywhere so let me talk about the knife I chose again any small knife SE Uzula is a good choice I know there's other brands out there that people like on uh, small Knives. This is the Becker BK-14, which is a collaboration between Essie. So you see on this side of the blade, it says Essie. And on this side of the um, blade is the Becker K-Bar logo, logo. So uh, it's a collaboration of them. Becker is the one that um, sells it. That's hence the name BK-14. Also Escobar but I modified the knife now it comes with no handles so you can wrap it with paracord or if you just like the skeleton handle uh, the tang does it's hollow in the middle of the tang but it does go all the way to the back so essentially it does have the strength of a full tang I mean it's all the strength you need for a knife this size custom handles from the knife connection these are g10 I chose green and black you can get an extended handle that uh, so this fits three fingers perfectly they have an extended handle and then it becomes pretty much full palm length with the extended handle i didn't want that because i didn't want it to stick out that would have added to the length of the blade this is perfectly comfortable for me my little finger lanyard in there so uh i took the knife and just use some paint stripper. I've been doing this with all my knives lately. And put some Gorilla Tape around so you can see the line right there. Put Gorilla Tape, took the handles off, put Gorilla Tape around, sprayed paint stripper on, used a putty knife and some sandpaper, get rid of the all the black coating, soaked it in vinegar, put a patina on it, and then put it on a belt sander using 120 grit Put on a very very sharp spine so it's a fire starter it's a fire maker it's a great little carver i've batoned with it for small stuff it batons and it's an awesome edc knife i i you know it transfers like i said i wear the same belt in the woods as i wear in town so i can carry it with me um, wherever i go if i have on a long shirt i put the shirt over no one knows it's a great little concealment knife uh, so for daily tasks fantastic edc fantastic wilderness and we're going to do some things with it just to show you guys some of the cool stuff out here but this is the setup i came up with so again i wanted to share this with you guys because if you want to do something like this you can get a hold of your own leather maker or mine and they can uh, make you up a sheath like this for your knife or this knife that will fit on your belt. You can have your hardware done in fancy silver, colored thread, gold, whatever. Again, I chose the more um, tactical, discreet look. Everything's brown, black, and green. Even the cordage. <laughs> That's me. 
So let's just play with the, this knife a little bit too, because I'm sure some of you, if you haven't decided on a uh, particular EDC or small wilderness knife, would love to see, well, what, what about this Becker BK-14? What can it do? So uh, let me move the camera around and just do a couple things with it, because I really like this knife. I like the way it holds a razor sharp edge. And I mean, it will literally just pop the hair off my hand right now. It does everything I want it to do for a small uh, knife wonderfully. So uh, it's just a little flat grain, which I love uh, flat grain knives anyway, my SE6. In fact, pretty much most of my SEs. But it's, it's a great little carver. I wanna, I'm sitting in camp, I wanna carve something. Just Maybe I'm gonna get cook some sausages over the fire. It's just a great little carver, and as I said, it, it holds a really good edge, and it's a nice razor sharp edge. It's very comfortable to use for me. Now, if you got really big hands, you might want something different, or you might want to get the extended handles because that will bring the, you know, grip back to here rather than just right here. But, it, you know, you can check those out on the knife connection. And small knives are just so easy to carve, you know, notches with. If you're wanting to make a pot hook or any kind of a notch, they're just super easy. To maneuver around as you can do with that small blade you know say I'm, i was doing a pot hook it's real easy to maneuver around like like that make make cuts so i started out with a seven notch here and i'm just modifying it a little And it's not going to be quite perfect because I started out with a seven notch, but just to I just wanted to show you guys how it's so easy to take a small knife and maneuver around with it, get it to do the things you want to do. It's handy. So you know if you want to do a seven notch or a little pot hook, car carve you a stick to cook your hot dog on, whatever. I need, to, I need to cut a piece of parachute cord real quick. I got a mountain house mill I need to cut the top off of, whatever. I mean, having a nice little knife like this is just fantastic. And so I highly recommend the little BK-14. They're on Amazon, 55-ish. Uh, but then if you wanna do knife connection handles, that's gonna bump you up to around 100 bucks total. But it's such a cool little knife that uh, I think it's well worth it. And we'll make fine shavings. If you guys can see little tiny curls popping off. See if I can leave some on the stick. We'll make curls. I didn't do a very good job there, but I got a whole pile of little bitty little tiny curls that I popped off here for fire making. And again, I put the 90 degree spine on it. So I can make scrapings on a, like this little piece of fat wood. there 
So it's just quick and easy. Make me a little pile of scrapings. I've got some curls there. I'll do a few more curls. There we go. That's what I wanted to do earlier for you guys. So that's what I was trying wanting to do for you earlier. It's just to show you how easy it makes nice little curls. Pop those off here. Put those in there. Get out my ferro rod. My ferro rod's bigger than my knife. <laughs> and uh So nice to just to have such a nice little tool. So there it is, guys. Uh, this is kind of a um, collaboration between Ochoco Bushcraft and my local leather shop, Painted Hills Custom Leather, on the idea, the concept, you know. I wanted to make a nice little combination edc knife wilderness knife it carries over you know once the sheath goes on the belt it rides with me all day out here in the woods and gets used around camp and then when i go back to town and i throw on my blue jeans same belt wear it wherever throw on a shirt or untuck my shirt if for some reason I don't want to show it but uh, again you can use choose whatever little knife you like but I really like the Becker BK 14 and modified of course the way I did and the sheath is just super comfortable so Hope you guys like this. Again, my, I will put my leather maker in the description. If you're looking for a good little EDC slash wilderness knife, uh, recommend the Becker BK-14. Um, SE Azula is another good option. There's some other you know brands and things out there, but Dan Arochko Bushcraft guys, hope you like this uh, little idea I came up with. And if you do up your own, I, I would like to see your guys' ideas and what you do. My um email is always in the description and if you have your own little setup that you've customized that works for you or you do one of these your own edc wilderness knife setup send me a picture send me an email with a picture because i really like seeing what you guys do too um, it, it's really cool so thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell take care everyone